What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and today we're going to look at the Horseman of Famine score challenge. You could say this one's due to popular demand and one of your main problems may be because of your strike team. You don't need anything too ridiculous, in fact this is mine, but what I do recommend for any strike team is you take in a few heroes that you're very comfortable with. It also certainly helps if they go well together. For example, Moonstone and Juggernaut, Wasp and Spider-Man, and then for me Cyclops is a really strong character so he's going to go well with any other hero combination. Now are there more scientific strike teams? Or those that have much higher team up bonuses? Sure, without a doubt. In fact, Angel, Damon Hellstrom and Satana, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Mockingbird, Beast, Iceman, Iron Man, and so on and so forth all provide really high team up bonuses and I will link that resource to you in the description below so you can go and check it out for yourselves but what I want to illustrate to you is the most important thing in beating this score challenge and this is going to sound very simplistic but by far the most important thing is you have to win and you have to have high health on all your heroes you will also want to do as much damage as possible but let's just talk about that first and most important point. Sure, team up bonuses are nice, but what's the point if you don't win the battle? Also, if one of your heroes dies, you can pretty much kiss that score challenge goodbye. That's why I say pick your strongest heroes and those you're more comfortable with. You can beat these current score challenges without an overpowering team. And I will prove that by using Wasp and Spider-Man. The first time I beat this challenge, I believe I used Juggernaut and Moonstone. Oh, and by the way, I'm not saying that Spidey and Wasp aren't good characters. In fact, I'm definitely going to use them in an upcoming Team Spotlight episode. They actually work quite well together because of Opportunist, and I do have both of their character in Powered Ice 08. For Spider-Man, that's Tangled in Powered Ice 08, and for Wasp, it's Irritating in Powered Ice 08. Having these two together means there's going to be a lot of opportunist debuffs on the enemy. So Wasp will be counterattacking quite a bit. But I'm by no means advocating using this exact team against Famine. I'm just saying make sure you have a strategy when going in. Remember, even without your agent, you can use items. That includes Chrono Accelerator or Chrono Boost. And you actually get a bonus for using 5 items. It's called the Quartermaster Bonus. And then you get a smaller amount of bonus points for each additional item up to 10. I'm not saying you have to go crazy on using items, but it doesn't hurt to use at least a few. Now since I just used Skirmish Scramble, another thing I do want to point out is it will be a very good idea to place off balance on Rogue. The last thing you want to do is to trigger her counter attacks. These Sentinels are pretty much a warm up so as you get closer to finishing them, You'll want to make sure that you have pretty high stamina as well as top level health. Once you only have one target left, you can stall, recharge, use lost pages or whatever you feel the need to do. I'm not saying to do unnecessary steps because remember you do get a bonus for how fast you finish. However, it all comes back to that really simplistic idea. You have to win the battle and you need everyone to finish alive and at high health. It's really all about priorities. My team is doing pretty well so we're going to finish this last sentinel and then go into the boss and mini boss wave. There we'll see what turn order we're going to get and that does make a difference in the battle. For score challenges you definitely want to face all the mini bosses you can. And it looks like our turn order isn't too favorable so we're going to use our quick action spider sense and then since they're going 6 turns straight I'm going to go ahead and use a Chrono Accelerator on Wasp. I didn't use any of these items when I first beat this score challenge, but it's definitely the safe route to go. Also, if you really wanted, you could use it as a springboard to give your other teammates a bunch of extra turns as well. The main thing that I'm concerned about is placing opportunist debuffs on the enemies. That way Wasp will counterattack them. And then secondly, I'm going to use Disrupting Shot on Famine. So this is going to place distraction on her and then hopefully she'll miss one of her attacks. Oh and another thing that will really help you out especially if you're a lower level. Make sure you save your distress call for the boss wave. 
and then try to set it up to where one of your level 300 allies is your next call. Depending on the level difference, if you call them in, they very possibly will finish one of these bosses for you. That right there will give you a huge advantage. If your heroes are dying too quickly to the bosses, or maybe you wouldn't make it through a round, then you may want to socket your ice away to help boost your health. By the way, you're noticing another thing that I do love about Spidey and Wasp. They have a pretty good chance of dodging a lot of attacks. And then Spidey from time to time will protect and gain an extra turn. If at this point in the battle one of my characters was close to death, I could get off a much needed heal. If I was using Juggernaut and Moonstone instead, I would definitely go phased with Moonstone. While phased, you can also charge up her Big Bang attack. I'm just mentioning that because that's the original team I used, but you may have a completely different team and I totally understand that. Now that it's finally our turn to attack, I'm going to go ahead and start out by hitting Sugar Man. You will probably want to eliminate one target at a time, because like I always say, one less enemy means one less attacking you. Now I am going to slightly switch up that strategy, because I'm going to use our level 2 exploit weakness on Avalanche. This will stop a scrapper from gaining a follow up attack. Not only that, he's also flanked so we're going to follow it up ourselves with an optic blast. This attack is going to take Avalanche really close to death. So Spider-Man has two options at this point. Since Sugar Man has more health, I'm going to attack him. And then hopefully Wasp will finish off Avalanche with one of her counter attacks. This will just leave us with Famine. Now if Famine is hitting you really hard and she's the main threat to your team, then I recommend you do the opposite and completely focus on her. Remember, you have to be willing to adapt. Every battle can change. Every circumstance is different. All you can do is keep basic strategies and really key points in mind. For example, if you're low on health, or even if you're only like 50%, but you think the enemy can kill you before you get another turn, then heal yourself to full. It's not even worth risking it. This is coming from experience. There's been times where I thought I was indestructible. And boy was I wrong. Make sure you have lost pages, and not only for the health regen, but also to remove all debuffs. Two other great items to have are Christmas cookies, because they fully restore all stamina to your entire team. And then the Quantum Elixir, because it not only restores all stamina to one ally, it also gives them an immediate turn. And speaking of the Quantum Elixir, I think I'm going to use it on Wasp right now. I want to reapply off balance to Famine, so instead of hitting her, I'm going to go ahead and use it on Wasp, and then use the Skirmish Gramble. So let's go ahead and scroll through our inventory, and there we have plenty of Quantum Elixirs. Now we can go ahead and apply off balance, and reapply Staggered. And of course another added benefit is the fact that Wasp gains Nimble. Nimble is great because it gives her a 50% chance to avoid melee and ranged attacks. Then after using Spider Sense, we're out of stamina, and I'm going to use one of those Christmas cookies. This fully recharges our entire team. In this very next round, we should be able to finish the fight, and I think we're going to have plenty enough score. All we have to make sure to do is to fully heal our team, and then set up Famine for as big of a hit as possible. And speaking of that, a web shot will really help Spidey do a ton of damage. So unless something crazy happens, this is going to be Famine's last attack. With Wasp in her final turn, I'm going to use a Lost Page. This should top all her health up and also get those nasty debuffs off of Spidey. I want to set him up for the final hit, so we don't want him to have Withered or anything like that. This may not end up being a hit like Havoc would deliver, but it still should be pretty decent and score at least an overkill. So on Cyclops' turn, we just have to make sure we're not going to finish her off. And it looks like his level 2 will be perfect for that. It also places weak point, so the next attack will be a guaranteed hit and crit. The web slingshot will exploit opportunity and webbing. So this is one of his pretty big hits. It does an okay amount of damage. It at least scores us a massive overkill. So let's see what score we get. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. 
118,035. So you see you don't need the most impressive team or the greatest team up bonuses. Just make sure you use two characters that you're comfortable with. Hopefully they're two of your strongest or highest level. And then make sure you use items, keep yourself at high health, and do as much damage as you can. And that's going to be it for this score challenge video. I really hope it helped you and I hope you enjoyed it. Lastly, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and let's go ahead and take a look at this boss roulette. I wouldn't mind getting the famine's toll, but I don't know if I would actually use it. Still, here goes nothing. And it looks like we're going to get one command point. Alright, so that really is it for this video. And once again, I do thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and hit that like button, and I will love you forever. Until next time, good luck and take care.